I was raised Catholic. I attended a Catholic middle school and high school. I spent two years at a Catholic college. It was there that I began to drift away. My drifting accelerated when I transferred to a secular college. Over time, I sought God, but my faith didn't ignite. I believed Jesus was the only way to salvation before college, but I wondered if I still did so many years later. When I started commuting from Boston to D.C. for work, there was a very godly woman who was an executive assistant in my Chantilly office. I'll not forget her pointing to a family portrait and saying, and that's my 16-year-old son who died. I offered my condolences, and her immediate response was, oh, it's all blessed. Her faith spoke volumes. That's when I realized that I could flip the ignition switch on my faith. I started going to McLean Bible Church in Tyson's because I'd heard Lon Solomon on the radio. One Sunday, Loudon Campus Pastor Jim Supp was speaking of Moses and how he resisted God's command to go to Egypt. Finally, I was hearing that the heroes of the Bible were as flawed as I was, except Jesus Christ. I now knew God would prepare me just as he did Moses. On that day, March 13, 2011, I rededicated my life to Christ. There are many ways God has changed me and my life, but most recently God provided something I never expected. I had started looking for a new job well over a year ago. I went on interviews, but nothing seemed to work out. In late June, God put on my heart that something big was about to happen. On July 12th, I was laid off. I now had possibilities open to me I would never have considered before. I spent the next eight weeks reading the Bible and other books, praying, resting, sitting poolside, and contemplating many things. After week eight, with my severance running out, I realized there was something I needed to address. What it is isn't important here. What is important is that I then realized that God gave me time to prepare for what was ahead. I prayed to God that I was ready. Just a couple of days later, my phone rang with a contract position in Bethesda, a biblical name. I went for an interview on a Monday afternoon and knew I was their choice before I left. Had I been with the old company, I wouldn't consider Bethesda, especially for a contract position. Yet, I have been happy ever since. Now it is time for me to continue to honor God by obeying His simplest command baptism.